I was able to sell my zines and my stickers and I walked away with about 300 bucks. Today is a wholesale day for me, which means that I am making bulk orders for small businesses. There's a bookshop called Page Against the Machine and a uh, vintage pop culture store called Alien Artifacts that have ordered for me, so I'm fulfilling their orders now. Wholesale, if you don't know, is just when you sell to other businesses for a deep discount and they usually get 30 to 50% off of your retail price, that way that they can double the price and sell it in their own shop. Um, wholesale is a great way for you to make some extra money off of your zines. That's what I do um, because they don't always just fly off the shelves in my shop. So I do wholesale with a lot of local businesses. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. These are local businesses that I could just drive to and drop off their orders. But I also have my stuff in stores in like New York, in Washington, and Oregon, and Texas. And the way I do this is by using the website called FAIR. This is not a sponsored post, by the way, because I actually don't like fare that much, but it does help get my zines out into other shops around the country. So basically you just list all of the things that you have for sale into your fare catalog and other small businesses can search it like Google. You know, it's like their own search engine. So if they find your stuff and they wanna buy it, the pro is that they buy in bulk, so they're buying a lot of stuff. But fair takes like 25%. Fair's pretty expensive, so I usually just visit small shops that I already love that are local to me and ask them if they could use some zines or stickers or shirts or any other stuff that I sell. Hi, so this is sweaty, tired editing Brie, but I wanted to check back in and let you know about the fair details. So if you want to do wholesale on fair, they do charge a 25% commission fee for themselves when someone first orders from you. And that's if they use the search engine to find you, you know, they look up different things for their shop and they find you through the FAIR search engine. FAIR takes 25% of the cut of that order. Every reorder, so say that customer really, or that shop really likes you and wants to commission more stuff from you, next order won't be 25%, it'll be 15% cut that FAIR takes. But if you send someone directly to your shop, which FAIR gives you a link that you can share with people so they are directly commissioned through you, Fair doesn't get a cut of that at all. But there are always fees. There are always fees. There is a fee for depositing the money into your bank account. There is a fee for processing. So you have to keep that in mind and just look at all the facts on the Fair website and see if that's worth it for you. I actually reached out to him because someone saw my stuff and, and was a fan of his store and was like, your stuff would look really good in Page Against the Machine. I think it's a great fit. Here's his contact information. You should reach out to him. So I did. I just emailed him, asked him if he was interested in meeting up to look at some of my zines and that's how our business relationship started and as a counter example the way that I started doing business with alien artifacts I started posting on Instagram a lot of my other items besides my zines and she happened to see some she actually saw um, some of my fan art that I have for the Powerpuff Girls it's a hem tote bag that went pretty viral um, a couple years ago she reached out because she wanted to sell them in her shop I get a lot of wholesale orders just because I post a lot of content online so people find me and then reach out to me so that's another way I would suggest um, getting more eyes onto your zines or other artwork that you have is just post a lot on other platforms stuff like that has a potential to get seen to a lot of people all over the world so I have people that have I've, I've gotten opportunities to wholesale at stores that I've never even visited just because they've seen my work online so I would suggest just sharing share share share
so that's it. I was able to sell my zines and my stickers and I walked away with about 300 bucks. I think as a freelance artist, especially if you make zines and that's what you love to do, you have to diversify your income. You have to figure out other ways to make money that could sustain your lifestyle as an artist and wholesale is a really great way to do that. So I wanted to give you a couple of tips to keep in mind for doing wholesale. I would recommend if you're a zine maker and you want to wholesale your zines, but you want to make a little extra money, consider making other products than just zines. Two stores that I sold to today, one is a bookstore, that's Page Against the Machine. Primarily, I only sell zines and stickers to him because that's what his market calls for. The other store, Alien Artifacts, uh, she sells a lot of stuff. She takes some of the shirts, she'll take some of the totes, she'll take zines, she'll take stickers. So that's a great way to add a little bit more money into your orders is by offering other products so if you're comfortable with that and you maybe you have a small business and you want to sell more than just your zines if you have a diverse portfolio of items that people could choose from or a diverse catalog that'll bump up your sales a little bit so that's one tip that i would give another thing i would suggest you do is to maintain your relationship with these retailers i do a lot of wholesale locally and all across the country in different various states. What I try to do is make sure that I don't just send out their order and completely ghost them. I want to maintain these relationships because ideally I want them to restock with me every month or every other month. So what I do is I keep them up to date with a newsletter or I keep them up to date just by emailing them or DMing them, letting them know when I have new items in my shop or what's upcoming. That way if they want to freshen up their stock with me, they know ahead of time so they can add it to their next order. And one of my my most important bits of advice, I guess, is to not undersell yourself. So if you think about it, what we know from wholesale is that these retailers are purchasing from you in bulk with a discount of up to 50%. So for example, say you have a zine that sells in your shop for five bucks. So you're going to be selling that zine in bulk to these retailers for about $2.50 a piece. So you have to keep in mind, is that worth your time? Is that zine really worth $5 or is it worth more? Is there a lot of handmade aspects to it? Are there pop-ups? Do they include mini zines, stickers? Try to keep that all in mind so you're not overworking yourself and selling yourself short. You do want to keep your prices fair for you and the person that's doing wholesale with you, but I would just suggest that you maintain a consistent and fair price to yourself first because there's been a lot of times, especially when I first started out with wholesale, that I'm I'm making 300 products for someone because they want to sell it in their shop and then afterwards I realized that the pay wasn't really worth all that time and sweat and tears and blood. Make sure you're pricing your stuff fairly that way you're getting compensated for your work. It is also really great for the business that's selling your stuff because then um, if they buy it at your price you know that they'll, they'll double or sometimes even triple the price of that in their own shop so they're getting their money's worth. Make sure you are too. And that's how I do wholesale. So I hope it was very clear. I hope it was understandable. It's very, very simple to offer wholesale to your local shops and shops beyond like what I told you with FAIR. I would highly suggest just getting to know your local bookstore owner or your local small shop that sells pop culture stuff or zine stuff or things related to zines, you know. Um, a good place to start would be like stationery stores, stores that sell stickers and t-shirts and stuff like that. I find that zines do really well in stores that sell similar things like that. So I would just suggest reaching out to that person um, or, the, or the owner by email or through social media or just even walking in the store and show them what you got. L make, give them a link to your website, show off your social media, show, bring physical zines into the shop and ask them to sell with you with wholesale. It's, you'll get to know the ins and outs of it the more that you do it. I'm also learning, so what I say in this video now may change in a year. I may get really good at this and all the tips I'm giving you may change. So just bear in mind that I'm here learning with you and I'm just sharing what I know, sharing what I do. I hope that it's helpful. I hope that you get to sell a lot of your zines because the most fun about this is getting more exposure to your work. It's fun to make money, but the main thing is I love being able to have my zines in more homes. I love when people say that they found my zine somewhere 
in a vending machine at the airport. I love when people say, hey, I saw your zines in Oregon. Have you been to Oregon? And I'm like, no, I just do wholesale. So I think it's a really great way to get more exposure to your work. I hope that you make a little bit of money off of this or a lot of bit of money off of this if you sell more than just zines, because trust me, you will. If you sell shirts and totes and those bigger ticket items, you'll make more money that way. These are just my tips. I hope that you guys utilize these. Let me know in the comments if this stuff works for you or if you do wholesale and you have better tips please just leave them in the in the comment section because I read those. I really am just here wanting to connect with you guys, wanting to help, and I want to know if these tips help. So talk to me, talk to each other, and let us know your tips for wholesale. How do you make money off of your zines? No, really, how do you? Let us know in the comments.